What is up everybody? I'm here today with a tutorial and this is about how to fix your synapse from crashing. You might have been noticing recently when you're trying to use your synapse, it'll be crashing and you might think there's really nothing you can do about that. But there is. There's a pretty quick fix and if you do it correctly, you can fix it in a matter of minutes. So I'll be running you guys through that and then how to undo it just in case you ever want to do that. So. What's causing this is the new Roblox beta. You might have been noticing that your Roblox has been looking a little bit different. All that stuff. You know, like if you try to do something like this, if you click escape, like this pops up. That's new. And that's because of this new Roblox desktop beta. And that messes with signups a little bit. So, you know, usually, you know, you want to attach just uh, to get going into the game. Uh oh, what do you know? It starts to crash like this. So. What I usually have to do is, because if I try to close this, it usually doesn't respond. So I usually have to go to my task manager, which is bugging out for some reason. And you know, I have to end this task, the Roblox task. And usually I'll just, that'll get rid of it. It's kind of a pain. And at first I didn't know why this was, but it is because of the Roblox beta. So I'm going to boot this back up, not into a game, just into the home page. And what I want to do is I want to go to this little button right here. And then once you're here, you're going to want to go to settings. Once you're, you know, you're going to have all your usual settings, but then you're going to have this. And what you want to do is you want to disable this beta. And it'll say, rejoin the beta again from the same web banner. All that fun stuff. You want to, yes, disable and exit. And that is it. Once you do that, it'll do this starting Roblox thing. You might have to wait a second. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the web version of Roblox. And then that's what you're going to have to do. Once that happens, you're going to need to go to the website version and you're going to need to launch it. But this is, it's taking a second. I'll come back when it's done. All right, so if you get stuck in that situation, what you're going to want to do is what I ended up just having to do. It didn't go away. You just have to close, close Roblox down here. You know how that is. So now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your desktop version. I just had this here. You know, just same game I was in. And what I'm going to want to do is just launch it from here. You know, open Roblox, which you used to have to do. When it boots up. You'll be booting up into the regular thing. You're going to want to get your synapse back. And then when you attach it, it goes through just fine. And you can execute your scripts and you can do all that fun stuff. So that is really the fix. It's quite simple, quite easy, really nothing to it. Now, you might eventually want to get back to the beta version. They might be doing something more with this and you might want to change it. So if you do, you're going to want to close out your Roblox here. And you know, close out the desktop version too. And you're going to want to go into here, right click on your Roblox player. You're going to do properties. All right. Once you open up these properties, it should look something like this. You know, you got your whole string of things here. And when you are done, it comes back to, the, it should look something like this. It may not, it may look different for you, depending on which, what situation you're in. But it'll be something along these lines. What you're going to want to do is replace launcher. And if this looks different, just try to get the same end result as me. Roblox player beta. Dot exe. You're going to want two dashes here. This might work for you. If it doesn't, and I had to do this, you have to put quotes around the end of the exe. And then you have to put a quote in the front. Just like that. And then we want to click apply. And okay. And then you want to run your Roblox player. And when you do this, you're back in the desktop version. That's simple. So, you know, there really is nothing to it. Overall, it's just pretty simple. If you have any other questions, be sure to put them in the comments. But this is a pretty straightforward thing to do. And hope you have a great day. Peace out.